So if you spend your valuable time recording a podcast to either market your business or grow your brand, you need to be using that content in so many other places. We cannot waste that gold mine of content you're sitting on with your podcast recordings. So today, I want to walk you through how to not only create and record high quality audio and video podcasts, but how Riverside can significantly enhance your editing process. And quick shout out to Riverside for sponsoring this video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to talk about is how you're actually going to record your high quality video podcast. Now, we want to have video and audio whether you're doing a solo episode or you have guests. And a lot of the times, most people are using Zoom or some other kind of software to host guests, and the quality is always off. So we can actually record the podcast in and of itself inside of Riverside. So when you come into Riverside, you're going to see a couple of different things. Over here on the left-hand side, we're going to have what we call studios. So you can always create a new one. I personally have one for my podcast here, The Content Collective, and then I have one for content repurposing. If I have other videos that I want to repurpose that aren't necessarily tied to my podcast, so inside here, you have a few different options. If you already have the content somewhere else and you want to use Riverside, you can simply use this upload button. You can bring in any type of uh, video podcast. You can plan the recording. So if you have guests, you can invite them to record. You can schedule the recording. You can even set it up in Google Calendar. And this is just going to give them a link into your studio in Riverside where it's going to record high quality video and audio. But let's say you're just doing a solo guest episode. You're just going to click here and go to the studio. You'll set up your camera and your microphone. Normally, I use different ones, but because I'm like dual recording, it's going to look weird. You can add your name. I'm not using headphones. And then you join the studio. And this is where you're going to get that high quality video and audio. There are so many different features and things you can play around with. Um, you can do screen shares, scripting. Inside here, you can do teleprompter, whatever works best for you. And then this is, you know, let's say you want to go ahead and just invite your guests. You can easily do so in here as well. So this is just a great way to have not only the ability to record that high quality video and audio, but it is stored in Riverside so that we can take it to the next step in editing and repurposing. The biggest thing that I want to talk to you guys about before we dive into how to edit and use Riverside for repurposing and things like that. A lot of the times when I see small business owners start on a new content creation journey, and let's say it's podcasting, you spend so much time and energy and sometimes money into these new marketing avenues and we're not using it to the best of its abilities. You'll post the podcast and then it, you know, doesn't get the traction that you want. We actually want to lengthen the shelf life of that podcast. And you guys know that I preach content repurposing all the time. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. I talk about content repurposing all the time as a main form of a content strategy. So what I want you guys to think about as we go into this next part of the tutorial is we're really going to not only edit this video podcast, but figure out ways to use that content on other platforms too. And that's the key here when it comes to not only promoting your podcast, but using that goldmine of content that you're sitting on that performs well as videos on reels and TikToks and shorts and things like that. Here's an episode that I recorded that I have not edited yet. So the good thing about Riverside is that you're also able to edit the podcast. And this is some of the most advanced, but easy to use, like very, very user-friendly software that I've come across. We can use AI tools to really help us edit the podcast as quickly as possible, but there are a ton of different features that make it easy to really customize and fine-tune that editing. The first thing I want to show you here is if you come down and you can generate an entire episode using AI, so this is going to go in and clean up the ums, the ahs, the pauses, and things like that. It's going to remove all of that automatically for you. So not only is this going to save you so much time and energy, it really, it feels like you have your own podcast editor. And obviously we can take this a step further, but this in and of itself will save you so much time and energy because you're not having to manually splice and clip certain things, move things around uh, just because you took a pause or said the word um or ah, and we can continue to fine tune this episode. So now that the AI tool is done, we're going to click on edit and here's where we can come in and not only use this text-based editor, but we can add subtitles, we can add captions, we can add so many different things to really enhance this podcast. So what we can do over here, this is a text-based editor. So let's say as you're scrolling through, as you're watching this back and you want, you're like, I don't like what I said here. You can simply highlight it and click delete and it's going to remove it automatically from your podcast. It's gonna be super seamless at removing and you're able to see what you've deleted. You can always toggle this on and off as well. 
just so that you don't have to come into this timeline area like traditional podcast editors and literally clip it up. You have to hit the splice tool. You have to move things around. You have to cut. You can still do that by clicking on this splice tool here, where they call it a split tool. You can also come over here and add your intro, your outro. You can add additional media as you see fit to really enhance this podcast. Another thing that you can do is that you can add logos, backgrounds. You can see if I had a guest here, you could see the different tracks. Same with layout. If I had a guest, you can switch how this looks. You can do picture in picture, a split screen, so that it shows you different views of like where you show up versus where your guest shows up. You can add spacing. This is super helpful. It just kind of added this border. If you want to brand it a bit more or if you have those guests and you kind of want to make this editing look a little bit more professional, I don't think we need it on a solo episode. You can add captions. You can see that it automatically generates it for you. And you can add text and titles to call out specific things. But the cool part here is like, let's say this is a really, really good job of taking what you say and transcribing it. But let's say it messed up a word. Like, let's say this was spelled incorrectly or wasn't the thing you said. You can come over here and correct it. And you click correct and it automatically updates the subtitles for you as well. So not only is this easy to edit your podcast, we're making it accessible for a wide variety of audiences. And we're kind of adding in that very trendy kind of viral format to the captions. Now, let's say you wanted to add a piece of media somewhere in here. You have an ad or maybe you want to plug your own product, whatever that is. Let's say you wanted to clip right in here. You would come and you can add in the video. You can add in the audio right in between if you have an ad break or anything like that. So this makes it super easy, again, to move clips around. You can drag and drop them on the timeline if you kind of want to stay away from the text editor as well to do that. And then there are magic tools up here. You can set the pace. This works really well if you have a guest. You can remove the pauses or kind of lengthen the pauses so that it feels more like a natural conversation. You can kind of set the pace for that. And then magic audio. This is really helpful. Let's say your guest doesn't have the best microphone in the world, or maybe it was a little echoey. You can click apply and it's going to enhance the audio track. And you can also come up here and change the ratio of the entire podcast episode. One other cool thing in here when it comes to manually editing, you can highlight this and you can actually come over here and click create new edit. So this is going to pull this into a different workspace and you can edit that clip for social media. Um, we'll kind of dive into that a little bit later in this tutorial, but it pulled over just that specific piece of content. Um, this is such a fun way that as you're going through and editing, you're like, I know that's a great sound bite, and I want to make sure that I create a reel for Instagram or something like that. The last thing I want to show you in here is that you can add a chapter. So this will kind of help you if you're uploading this video podcast into YouTube or something like that. It's going to help you with those timestamps in those chapters as well. So let's say you're completely done editing your video podcast. We're going to hit back and I'm going to show you some other tools and features that's going to help you repurpose this even further. So now we want to start to repurpose this for social media and produce clips and things like that. As you saw in that tutorial, I highlighted some text and made a new edit. That's going to show up right here. I would simply come over here and you can rename this. Like, let's say you want this to be Instagram reel number one. And you can go in just like how we edited this full length video episode. You can come in here and do the same for this one. Now, the beauty of Riverside is that they have something called magic clips. And this works great. As you're going through and editing your podcast, make sure you're pulling those clips that really stand out to you. But AI tools are going to help you do this kind of in an instant as well. Riverside is going to use a ton of different technology to really pull out those key moments in your video podcast and generate social media clips for you. So it's going to take a little bit for it to do its thing. But just know that some of these clips, you are going to be so surprised at how this AI tool can really pull out some great pieces of content. So as that's generating, I want to show you what you can kind of do with these clips. So we'll come in and let's edit this one that we manually pulled. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is actually change the ratio. We want this in a 9 by 16 format. And then we can start to really play around with how these captions show up. There's a ton of different um, options when it comes to text and backgrounds and fonts and things like that. So you can easily add your branding and make this look like something that you would produce in any other video editor. You can also come over here and start to add text. Some of this even looks like text that's native to TikTok and Instagram and things like that. So if you wanted to add a title to it, it actually automatically generated that one based on the chapter that I pulled from. 
So you can easily just move this around and you can resize it. So because that one I think is a little bit too big, I would actually probably make this all caps. And there's just so many different things that you can do. Again, you can add your logo. You can add your own background. You can mess around, again, with the layout if you had multiple guests. Something like a split screen or a picture in picture would be really, really cool. And just same as the last thing, you can add in different recordings, your edits, any other media, video or audio to really enhance that social media clip. But it just makes your editing process so seamless because we're not needing any other outside app or even some of the native in-app features to customize that video. So now that you understand the basics of using some of these video editing tools, we can go back and the magic clips should be done for us now. And as you can see, they are automatically generated for us here. So again, just like how we did with this clip, you can come up here and rename it. But again, we're just going to come in here and edit this like any other type of reel or any other type of editing software that you would use. And now we can come in and edit this one as well. So first thing to note is like some people really like the style where it keeps it kind of landscape like this. And then you have a title up top and then uh, you have the captions or subtitles at the bottom. If you prefer, this is kind of my preference as well. I want this to fill the entire screen. And you can, same thing, you can add in text, you can add in titles, you can come in here and edit this a bit more and you can see kind of what was before and after it. You can highlight this text and hit restore if you didn't kind of like what it deleted. And then we can come up here and name it Instagram Reel number two. And you'll do this for all those different clips and you'll continue to curate these additional social media posts. So now that we've fully edited our podcast episode and even generated some social media clips, there are a few additional tools that I want you guys to really tap into to help you not only publish this content, but repurpose it. My next favorite thing that you can do inside of Riverside, and this is going to save you so much time, you can actually automatically generate show notes. And here's the thing. This is something you typically outsource to a podcast manager or a VA, and they kind of help you do this manually. But you can see in just a couple of seconds that Riverside AI Tools did this for you. So there's a summary, there's takeaways. It even automatically generates chapters for you, which is nice to not only include in your show notes, but to include if you're posting this on YouTube as well, which I recommend that you do. So once your clips are done, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to export them. You can see this one's already exporting, but we'll come over here and you click on uh, that button, click on export, and then you'll be brought over here for the video 1080p is standard for most social media platforms. You can normalize audio levels, remove background noise. We're gonna go ahead and switch those on and click export video. Then we're gonna come back into exports. And as you can see, those are being exported. But the big thing that I want to share with you here is when you click on this share button, you can copy this link. Let's open it in a new tab. And this is something that after you're done editing, after you're done recording, this is a link that you're going to want to send to your guests after you're done. It's going to be so easy for them to come over here and grab the clips, grab the full podcast episode. They'll also be able to, if you had a guest, grab just their video, grab just their audio so they can continue to promote it in their different marketing avenues to their newsletter, to their email list, to their YouTube, Instagram, wherever else. And it continues to repurpose that content to a new audience. And the very last thing here, it's so easy for you to come over here and download the high quality video, the high quality audio and use those files, upload them to whatever platforms necessary. But let's take it one step further. Yes, we've gotten our social media clips. We've got our high quality video and audio podcast. But we can also do so much with this transcript that Riverside has generated for us. You can come over here and click download. Subtitles is great if you want to have closed captioning on your YouTube videos. You can download this file, upload it to YouTube, or you can download just the text version of the transcript. You can also come over here and copy it. And the reason why you're going to want to do this is you can take anything that you said in this video, you can manually go through it and find fun little snippets that you can use as threats, as tweets. You can use this to start to generate a first draft of your blog post. You can take the entire transcript and put it into a, another AI tool like Claude or ChatGPT and really repurpose this video podcast onto other platforms. And I guarantee you, you have a gold mine of content sitting within that transcript as well. So moral of the story is that Riverside is a game-changing tool that makes producing your podcast so much easier while also enhancing your editing and social media game. So head to the link in the description below to try Riverside for free today and use code AMBERFIGLO for 15% off your subscription.